Welcome to Hardcore Garage. I have a little project for my daughter. She wants me to build her a headboard for her new bed. We just redid her bedroom. So I've got a pile of wood here on the floor that we're going to have to play with. So let's check that out. What can you make with a pile of 1x6s, 1x8s, and 1x4s? Actually, there's <laughs> several different projects in that little pile there. I think we're only going to use the 1x6s, the short ones of the bunch here, and uh, one one by 8 So we'll see. So here is a little preliminary drawing of what I'm going to try to uh, replicate. Now I know that we've probably talked about it before. When you buy some wood, these are just... <clears throat> trim boards basically uh, there's a lot of different ways to build stuff a lot of people would probably take sheets of plywood to build you know some kind of shelving unit what I'm doing and I, I just experiment with different ways of doing stuff uh, this seems to be the easiest this is exactly the right width that I need we're not making anything structural so blah 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 anyway um, always cut off the ends of the boards to make sure that your ends are gonna be you know straight and it's it's really nice if you have laser <laughs> It really is, or whatever you want to call this. They, they call it a laser, but it's really just a, a white LED that gives you a shadow line to cut. Another thing that is important when you're building something is, is prior planning, which I'm very, very bad at. <laughs> so I always end up having to do things twice. I don't know if it's just something in my brain that doesn't let me think things completely out or whatever, but anyway, so... This thing is going to be 60 inches tall total, right? So we would mark it at 60. I absolutely hate this tape measure. 60 inches. Well, then my top board, when I'm doing this, is going to be mounted on the top. And then I'm going to mount a 2x8 over top of that to get a little bit of uh, depth. And, and I don't even know what the other word is I'm looking for. But anyway, so that that's 2 inches, a 1x8. A, a five or whatever, a one by six is going to be three quarters of an inch thick. So I need to take three quarters of an inch off twice, which is an inch and a half, which puts us at 58 and a half. So both of my side pieces will need to be 58 and a half inches tall to end up with 60 inches overall. Now, if I just remember to do that on the next one, we'll be good to go. <laughs> make a little shelf another thing that you want to do is when you're when you're getting ready to cut always you know take a look at the boards see if there's any bad spots in it that you need to get rid of you don't want to cut off the wrong end and then be like man you know five inches down there's a big split in the wood or something like that so always take a look at them and figure out what side you want to do <laughs> Fifty-eight and a half inches is what we're looking for again. I could just slide this through the other side, but I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here, even though it's just cutting wood, ain't nothing major. <laughs> Okay, so we have both side pieces. You can see there I wanted it 60 inches tall total. The total outside width is going to be 61 and a half inches. So there's our inch and a half to take off um, for the in because the shelves are going to be mounted on the inside of the outside pieces. So it'll actually be 60 inches. Two shelves is what we're going to start with. Let's get them cut. What I was talking about there's a split right here if you guys can see that in the video so I'm going to start at the other end because I know these are, these are six foot boards I only need five foot of it I don't necessarily like cutting this side off first because there's a staple in there you can see how crooked this is right now though you'll see what exactly why 
you have to cut this off. <laughs> You can really tell in there, but it's super thin here and about an eighth inch right there. Mark these at 60. See, we can easily just slide it down to this side. And then you just cut on the other side of the mark. Line her up. I also <clears throat> always look for, you know, really neat looking pieces of wood when you're doing this. I think this one right here has a really nice uh, knot in it right there, right in the side, and I really like that look. <clears throat> so that's why I chose that board when I did pick it at the store. And really, a lot of times you can't be so picky because they are harvesting these trees way too fast. Um, you just need way too much lumber. And the trees aren't maturing, so the wood's not nearly as straight as it used to be in, like, say, the 80s or 90s. <laughs> that was a nice knot there also going all the way through. I might make some shelves that hang off the side of the bed. We'll see. Well, here's what we got so far. I should have showed you guys a little bit of the process when I was putting it together, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I just measured everything out and uh, put a little bit of glue, and I use a DeWalt electric nail gun to nail everything. The only thing that isn't on yet is the very top. I'm going to router it. hangs over a little bit on all sides. Uh, seems a little bit big, but hey, that's what she wanted was 60 inches to the top, and it's exactly 60 inches. Um, show you a little bit of the back supports I put here on the back corners, some one buys on the edge. Uh, so we'll have something to actually screw the bed frame into. And then I have a nice sheet of uh, plywood there. I'm not, I can't remember if it was oak or poplar or something. It was a about $35 for that sheet and it'll be the backer piece on this over here too so we're getting there quick the last little thing we're gonna do here is router the edges of the top shelf I wish I had a handheld router but I don't all I have is this tabletop and I don't router things enough to go buy another one so this one does the job you just gotta kinda balance things out and if you're using a router don't forget your hearing protection Got the top on. Looks pretty good. Nice little router edge there. Yep, turned out nice. We'll let her dry overnight. And she wants it black. So we're gonna paint it black. So we are almost done with this headboard made for my daughter. She actually came down and painted it. For me so she could be involved in the process here uh, the next thing that you guys will see is it mounted to the bed upstairs and here is the final product mounted what? and she's got a little bit of stuff on there so I call that a success <laughs>